All right, just got two more True Blue hoses today for my new rig setup here. And as you can see, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, the need for speed, oh, I believe in overkill. There's nothing true of overkill. And uh, so with your True Blue hoses, I made these videos before, but there's a lot more new viewers out there, especially in the Facebook group. So here's two separate kits. Here's a kit who's untouched yet, other than I opened. Here I already took some of the fittings out because I already placed one fitting for this hose to right here. And on the other end, I have one fitting here. And if you look at the inside diameter of that quarter inch hose, that is a quarter inch hose. Do you see the difference in that size? Now this is the quarter inch hose off of a hose or any fitting. This is what your quarter inch hose is. You see that small little diameter? Let's do a side to side comparison so you can see the difference. That's a standard quarter inch. This is an enlarged internal volume of these high flow fitting quarter inch. So these are both quarter inch, but these are high flow quarter inch. Here's more like your standard. The inside of your hose is more like this and your fittings are like this very restricted and uh, you see the size there is much almost as big as that but to get to this size right here you would have to jump up to this this is a 3 8 inch the inside of this 3 8 which you can see is much bigger than the quarter inch that right there is the same diameter as that right there they're both the same so the only way to get a higher flow out of here is I want to take one of these this is an old dirty one um, I'm gonna cut this off here I'm gonna drill it out and I'm gonna put a 3 8 and have the 3 8 one right there so this see there's silver solder there that's not just regular solder that's actually real silver 15% silver so by drilling out the inside of one of these fittings to a larger diameter to accomplish this right here so it has straight through going right there because you already can see the size of this body here is the same size as this fitting here so why have all this here when I could have this instead of that little itty bitty thing down there I could have that guy right there and that is the same diameter of that inside there so I have that into one of these for a higher flow going all the way there like that. This will be off of this one right here like this. Second one, high side, low side like that. For your vacuum pumps, so this is everything that comes with it. You get one three-way valve. So this is your core removal tool that you'll use as a three-way valve. And let's uh, see if I could hook that up. Sorry, making me dizzy here. Let's see if we could put my phone here, not drop it. And if you go to Jim Bergman's website, and uh, also Greg from HVAC Service, LLC, Ty Bremerman from uh, Love to HVAC, so these are not a nice T like some of the other ones are, but you get the picture. If you took this and you take this out of there, boom, now you have basically a T with a shut off ball valve. Now, if you put this right here, remove the valve core, you put this right here. Now you would have a straight through port here. So now you can take your gauge and you can have a gauge and they make these much smaller. You don't have these, have these big body ones. You can make smaller ones. So now you're like this and you would have this going into that like that. And then this would come out here and your hose. Let me grab a hose. Can my hose fit over here? Let me grab another hose. Man, all my hoses are hooked to gauges. Come on, I gotta have a loose hose. Oh, I'll grab a hose off there, take it off that. You have this, and this would go to the vehicle. This would go to your machine. This goes to your blue vac. And let's see if I can bounce that back out here a little more. This goes like that. 
Now, when you have something like this from your vacuum or your machine or recharge, when you're doing your vacuum and you're ready to shut off your vacuum source, you want your gauge right here. You want that isolated from your hose. You don't want to be reading micron decay to your hose. So you take this ball valve right here and you shut it off like that. You are now isolated to your system, to your vehicle. So your vacuum will be reading up this port right here, right to your vacuum gauge for your micron gauge. You're isolated from your vacuum pump and you're not reading your leaking vacuum. Uh, what are those? Refrigerant hoses, because refrigerant hoses are not good to read deep vacuuming. And now you're isolated. So with this system, you'll be reading inside your system and you won't be reading any decay from your hoses or your gauges or anything like that. And that's how that will go. So that is that. And as you can see, these are uh, KF25 fittings, KF25, KF25. And then when you step down to these, these are KF16s. So I have these adapters here that go from KF25 down to KF16, which you see right here. Um, your kit, this is not the kit here, but these kits here, these are the automotive kits. These are 1.5 meter kits, so you can go all the way from the ground and have your gauges hooked up to the hook up on the top of a hood if you wanted to, or if you have it on a cart, you have your stuff on a cart, and you can have your gauges hanging from something that swings off of your cart and over towards the vehicle, and you have enough room to have your vacuum pump on your cart. From your field piece... That was for your 3 8 This is for your half inch fitting. This is for your quarter inch fitting. These are to be placed, the little thin ones here. These are to take your hoses up to your gauges because there's very little room up on your four port gauges or three port gauges uh, in between. Otherwise it'll interfere with your regular hoses because it'd be too close. You can never fit something this thick up and here that would be too big and it would interfere so they give you these little stainless strap ones right there and that's it that's the new setup all right guys i'll see you